Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Nexus using the sort of one-click method uh, from Wugfresh over at XDA. Now before you begin, this will erase all the data on your device including your SD card or internal memory. So please make sure that you plug your phone in, you mount the USB storage and you save all of your pictures, your music, anything else that you want to save, sync with Google, do all that stuff before you continue. Also this program uh, that was created by Wugfresh again over at XDA only works on Windows. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up the drivers uh, and also download the toolkit itself. So, click on this link here to be taken to the developer's post or someone who posted on behalf of the developer. And then scroll down to where it says downloads. So click on download link. Click download Keep. and wait for that to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to find that file. We're going to right click it and hit run as administrator. And wait for it to open. Okay, so once the program opens up, you're going to select your model type. So if you have Verizon, uh, CDMA, or LT device, you're going to click that one. If you have any other one, uh, GSM, say overseas, Europe, etc., you're going to click that one. That's the one I happen to have. Then we're going to click drivers. Make sure your device is unplugged. Do that. Click list devices. It says none. So now we're going to plug in our device. Again, make sure that USB debugging is checked on under settings and developer tools. Now click list devices and we should have a serial number. And we're going to click unlock. Okay, and follow the prompts which we've already kind of told you to do and hit enter. Yes, I do see something. And make sure you see the serial number there as well. And then on your device, uh, you're going to select yes by pushing volume up and then power. And wait for the device to reboot. Okay, once that's all done, uh, your device will reboot um, and you'll have to go through the regular setup process that you did when you first start, turned on the device. Make sure you go through that, leaving the phone plugged in, then uh, hit settings, developer options, and turn USB debugging back on. Then we can go to the next step, which is to click root. Uh, read the prompt that it gives you and then hit enter. We see a serial number, so we'll hit yes. wait for it to reboot into bootloader one and yes there's any keys to continue okay and once you followed all of those steps uh, they're pretty self-explanatory um, then your phone has been rebooted uh, USB debugging should still be enabled you can check that by pulling down the notification bar it should say USB debugging connected then we're gonna press enter and we're gonna click Enter again. And watch the little ghost computer do its thing. Then click enter once it's done. And then follow its prompts again. Now this is going to require you to go into the market, search for ROM manager, type just like that on the screen, download that, install it obviously, and then uh, open that program and click flash recovery. It'll ask you to choose your device, you'll click your device, and that'll be that.
Okay, and after you do that, you're all set. You have an unlocked bootloader, you have root access, and a custom recovery image. You can now go on to flash custom ROMs uh, if you want to. Uh, and if you do want to, scroll to the very bottom of this procedure and you'll see our how to load a custom ROM on the Galaxy Nexus procedure. You can click on that to continue. Enjoy.